This video is for business leaders who want to maximize their business insights, and I use selecting titles for YouTube videos as an example of how to do this. So this is actually going to be part one of two, uh, using, as I said, videos, videos or video titles and their optimization to illustrate the idea of um, product development. Innovation happens, or at least the way I think of it, one of the models I use is, let's call it a continuum, and that runs, the continuum runs from two extremes, and the extremes are from demand pull, that is market-derived products, to technology push, which is products, solutions without a problem, or products without a market. Now, both of these are valid approaches. Today, I'm going to cover specifically the one that is by far and away the most popular right now. And I think most people are extremophiles in the way they think about this. It's like, well, if it's not market demand, it's stupid. That's not entirely true. It's absolutely not. It would be foolish to ignore market demand and market characteristics and things like that. At the same time, that's not the only position, and it's not, in my opinion, the best position because there's something a little more sophisticated you can do that also encompasses uh, market pull. So if anything in this video is valuable to you, you get any useful insights or ideas, you have questions, anything like that, I would love to hear from you. Please share, like, and subscribe. Thank you. So I've discussed innovation along a continuum uh, and learning via extremophiles in a previous video. I'll share more information on that and a card later in the video. It's going to be after I process it, probably not today, depending on the way my schedule goes, but I will when I burn in the hard-coded subtitles, I will add those cards. In the meantime, I will promise to include those in the description of this video. So for these, this example, I'm going to be using YouTube uh, video topics as the analogous product, because this matters. The video topics are titles. Most of the time, people come from extreme ends on this. Or at least in my experience, that is, they say, I have an idea for a topic, and I'm going to make a video. And they make a video and then figure out a title and, and test it. The other end is, oh, well, until I have an approved title, until I have a title that I know is going to get me views, why bother making a video? I'll, I'll create the topic and the title based on market demand and then create the video. And neither of these is wrong, but neither of these is absolutely right. I think there's somewhere different, as I said, working on the continuum which is a better option. So um, this is the, the market demand is probably the most popular and endorsed by far, uh, especially including topic, uh, topic selection and the video and the video title as market poll. And you'd really be kind of foolish to ignore <laughs> the indicators of the market, the empirically drive stuff, which I talk about quite a bit because I'm a science geek. It's all about the experiment and the results, but also other experiments other people have done. You'd be foolish to ignore their results. And that's where uh, you get a lot of the market pull from. So both extremes that I've already talked about have been used by extremely successful companies to create extreme success. So it's not one or the other. It doesn't have to be one or the other, but I'm going to examine both sides of the coin. And today is the first side where the demand pull market derived product. So I just started using TubeBuddy about three weeks ago, and it is increasing my, uh, or the reason I started doing it is to see if I could get increased clicks by using the keyword their their keyword keyword explorer that's what it is keyword explorer to see if i could get better titles that were more likely to be clicked now i read uh 
Daryl Eve's book, The YouTube Formula, I think it's called. And it's an excellent book. I would highly recommend it. And it convinced me thoroughly that both thumbnails and titles, thumbnails the most and, and titles second, are probably the number one reason people click on a, a video at all. So I'm working on both of those. But I got, I, after realizing how limited uh, TubeBuddy would be for what I wanted to do with it, unless I bought the, the intro premium level, so I did, and I thought it was a good investment. So the Keyword Explorer lets you go to market demand to actually look at the titles. You plug in a title and see whether there's been a market demand for those words or those phrases in search. Now, since I've been doing this, uh, as I said, about three weeks, two weeks and change, my views have went up by 93% over the previous 28 days. I'm not getting a lot of extra watch time yet, but titles and thumbnails are more likely to get you clicked. But I am getting some increase in the watch time, and that's more about how I do my videos. So it's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. I was surprised how, though, even changing a single word even uh, a single thing like of or is or am can fundamentally affect things. So uh, yesterday's video was, the title was after, after optimizing it using, using TubeBuddy, using the market derived model was create meaning the power of moments book review. And that had an overall score in the keyword explorer of, of 100 out of 100. But this is how quickly it can change by removing create so that the title is meaning the power of moments book review, it dropped it to 77 out of 100. I first titled the video to say the power of moments book review, which to me seems perfectly fine. But by looking at the market derived data, it said that the score, at least the overall score using the Keyword Explorer was 42 out of 100. It shows how much of a difference this can make by looking at what people are actually searching for, aka market demand or market pull. So changing it, uh, changing it to another thing, which is book review, the power of moments, raised the score to 74 out of 100. So what I usually do is I start with my intuitive title, the title that I think will work. And then I add or subtract words until I get the best one. And that's why I chose this one because it got a score of 100 out of the 20-ish or thereabouts that I have used this on now. So removing the word meaning to say so that the title said, create the power of moments, uh, create hyphen, the power of moments book review drops the score by only one point. So while, while adding meaning, was critical and made a major difference in the score, removing the word, or sorry, sorry, removing the word meaning, I got that wrong, removing the word meaning dropped the score by only one point, but by moving the word, removing the word create dropped the score massively. So here's what it came down to. So removing the word book review so that the title said create meaning, the power of moments, dropped the score to 76 out of 100. So by using market pull, this empirical approach, it makes a real improvement. And I've seen real empirical results out of this. Yet it's far from the final word. And the order, it's really interesting though, how useful this is in terms of the order of phrasing and the word selection you choose, that you would have to do a whole lot of testing to get the same results you can get just by looking at the search volume. So I'll talk about some of the downsides to market pull, and there are real downsides to it in the next video tomorrow, which is optimizing video titles from topic. So this is going from topic to title instead of create the title to create the topic. Now I have a couple of recommended videos for you, and that would be that are related to what I talked about today, and that is innovating along the continuum, which talks about the more deeply on the continuum. And another one that was Neurocognition for Business Resilience, which talks about extremophiles in their business ideas and how you can use those without necessarily bearing the cost of being an extremophile yourself. So 
watch tomorrow's video for the flip side of this equation, which will be, this is crush it clock. So this is about creating scenarios uh, where groups struggle to gather titles by demand. However, tomorrow's will be Crush It Club 161, optimization of video titles from topic. Now these titles, surprise, surprise, were actually derived using the, the keyword explorer tool, and that's why they are as they are. That's it for Crush It Club 160, optimization of video titles by market demand. My name is Tim B. Green. Bye for now.